Okay, today we're going to look at a sumo robot. We're going to just going to look at the simple entry level concepts. I have a very basic robot here that meets regulation standards. It's not designed to be a super competitive robot. It's designed for me to be able to show people the basics. So it's just a simple bot with a few things added on. Obviously, a bulldozer out the front to try to bulldoze its opponent. It needs a set of ultrasonic sensors to be able to see its opponent. It also needs a little color sensor down the bottom to be able to see when it's getting over the white strip and it's about to go off to know to back up. All right? And the program's gonna work like this. There's three possibilities we need to test for. If you're getting over the white, you need, you need to test to see you're getting over your white. If you are, you need to back up. You need to test to see if you can see your, your opponent in front of you. If you can see your opponent in front of you, and you're gonna drive forward and try to bulldoze him off the map. The other possibility is, you don't, you're not over the white, and you don't see your opponent, then what you'll do is, you'll spin around on the spot till you do see your opponent. Okay, let's look at some code now. So we need a loop, because we're gonna be doing it over and over and over, and we're gonna set that loop to infinity that it just does it forevermore. And then inside that loop, we have to build a three-way switch, because there's three things we need to test for. To build a three-way switch, what we do is we put a switch inside a switch, and that gives us three different possibilities. Now, the first switch, we're gonna to test to see if we're on the white. If that is true and we are on the white, then we're gonna back up. If it's not true, then what we're gonna do, we're gonna to test to see if we see our opponent in front of us. If our opponent is in front of us, we'll bulldoze forward. If our opponent isn't in front of us, then we'll spin around on the spot. Then it goes around the loop and does it again. Test, are we on the white? Is our opponent in front of us? Do we need to spin around the spot? Goes around again. And it just keeps going over and over and over like that. So let's look now at the exact settings on each of these switches and motors. All right, so the first switch needs to test, are we on the white? So we need to set it to um, color sensor, compare, reflected light intensity. We want to set it to when the to be more than 50%. And for me, I've set the port 3 because I have my color sensor plugged into 3. So now any time the color sensor in 3 sees more than 50%, i.e. it's on the white, it will go up to the top of the switch. The top of the switch I will set to, um, I'll put a tank block, then I'm going to set to be turned on for so many degrees. At the moment, I'm just going to set my motors at 30 speed, so everything goes slow and you can see what's going on. In a real sumo match, you would set all your motors at maximum power at 100%. But we're just going to use 30 for the purposes of teaching. And then I set the degrees to negative 360. So one full rotation backwards because it's negative. And I have to make sure I have my ports correct. I'm using A and D because my left motor is in port A and my right motor is in port B. So that's the first switch and the first motor block. Now on the first switch, if it doesn't see white, then it will come down the bottom to the second switch. The second switch is gonna to test to see whether our opponent's in front of us. So it needs to be set to ultras ultrasonic compare in centimeters. Now we wanna see if someone is closer than 70 centimeters. So we're going to set it to closer than 70 centimetres and I have it plugged into port 1, so I have the port set on port 1. So that means if something is closer than 70 centimetres in front of us, it will go up to the top part of the switch. The top part of the switch, I just turn the motor on to go forward and I set both wheels at the same speed, both at 30. Again, in a real match, you would have them at flat out to bulldoze as hard as possible, but I'm just using 30. And again, I've set the ports to A and D because my left motor's in A and my right motor's in B. So if it hasn't seen someone closer than 70 centimetres in front of us, then it's going to come down to the bottom. And the bottom, I'm going to set the motor on, but I'm going to set one motor to 30 
and one motor to negative 30. So one wheel's going forward and one wheel's going backwards and that will make it spin around on the spot. And again, the port's in A and D. And it'll just go round and round and round and that makes a simple robot. It looks to see if it's on the white. If it's on the white, it backs up. If it's not on the white, then it checks to see if it sees someone in front of us. If it sees someone in front of us, it drives forward. If it doesn't see someone in front of us, then it spins around on the spot. And this goes around and checks all that over again. And that's all there is in the code. Okay, now to see it all in action, remember everything will happen in slow motion because the motors are only on 30 speed. Three, two, one, fight. And as soon as he sees the white, he backs up. Just managed to get the other opponent off, and that's a win for our robot.